Hi there, welcome to a quick Power BI Tips video. Have you ever had an issue where you want to order the categories of your video, something like the days of the week, or categories in a chart like this, and you're not sure what quite to do? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so if we look at a visual like this, where we have the number of orders by day of week, so we've got the Tuesdays, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, it is just ordering it. Uh, by default, it will go from largest to smallest, which isn't necessarily what we want. We want sort of Monday through Friday. If I go to here, it allows me to sort access, but it will go by showing number of orders. Now, if I say day of the week initial, it doesn't help me either because it goes by the first initial. So it's in alphabetical order. Well, it's, and this is descending from the, the W back down to F. Again, this doesn't help me. I want to do it by day. So what, what, what can we do here? So first of all, we need to go and look at a date column. So if you have a calendar, what you want to do is you want to set up something like this, where you have your days of the week and potentially you have a day of week initial like this. But what's important is you need a day of week number assigned to it. So if you'll see here where we have Monday zero, Tuesday one, Wednesday three or two, Thursday three, Friday four, Saturday, etc. Down here. Okay. So once you have something like this set up in your calendar where you have a numeric value against uh, the day of the week, it could be a month as well. If you're looking at you know January through December, it'd be a number from zero through 11 or one through 12. Once you have that set up in your calendar, you can come back here and you'll see that we have on in our data table, we have the day of the week initial. Now if I click on day of the week initial and I go up here to the middle and select sort by column, um, we will look for, so we have day of the week initial. We need to look for day of the week number. So this is how we want to sort um, the day of the week initial. So we'll click on this and it's working on it. Now you'll see that these days of the week have now been ordered. So it's, it's going in descending. So it's Friday back to Monday, but all we need to do now is go to sort access and go sort ascending. So now we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If I want to make sure those days are correct, instead of the day of the week initial, I can put in the day of the week name and we'll see there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that's how we do it for something like that, where we're looking for a day. If you want to look at something like a category, it's not, it's not any more difficult. It's just slight, slightly different um, because days of the week have certain numbers assigned to them and you have a calendar like that set up for, for your dates. Um, if you if we look at this example and we have the orders by the shipping company, we got United package, federal shipping, speedy express. If for some reason we wanted to order these in a specific way, just for our reporting purposes, that didn't necessarily go by alphabetical order or going from largest to smallest or large, smallest to largest. It's quite difficult. Again, we can't come in here. All we can do is sort by company name or number of orders. We, we, there's no uh, customized way of uh, ordering these companies. So let's say, for example, we wanted to go Federal Shipping, Speedy Express, United. That's not alphabetical, or it is actually. Let's say we want to go Federal, um, United, and then Speedy. How could we do that? Um, well, what we wanted to do is if we go down to ship, Shippers, we go to the shipping uh, table. What in effect we want to do is to add in almost like a customized column here. So if I go to, we can either, you can either add it in here as like a, uh, like a conditional column, or we can go back to um, Power Query, which is probably a little bit simpler from my perspective anyway. So if I go into shippers, Okay, so we come to the shippers table and if I want to add a uh, customized column with uh, an order, all I need to do is I select company name, I say column from examples from selection and I want to call this company order. Um, and if I want to say, what were we saying? We wanted to see federal shipping as our first one. We want to see United as our second and, and Speedy as our third. We click OK. 
So we have um, uh, an order sequence. So we want to have Federal Shipping first, United second, and Speedy Express third. And again, we just go back and say close and apply. And it will take us back to our um, main table again. So, so it's just loading here for us. Okay, so now it's loaded back in. We see we have our new um, column called company order. So again, if we want to select um, our company name, again, we can just do it straight here. And we say sort by a column, we can say company order. So it will sort by the company order anytime we drop the company name in a visual. And if we go back here and we say sort by the company name, uh, and we want to go sort ascending. So we will get Federal Shipping first, United Package second, and Speedy Express third, which matches the order that we assigned in, in our table. All right, so that's two quick examples. If you want, ever want to order something like a date, either by it's a day or a month, um, and you're not sure how to, you need to have uh, an equivalent number assigned to it so that you can order the, the axes by that number. And similarly for categories, if you want to order by particular categories, and it could be something from you know high, medium, low, you want to have those categories in order, in sequence as you want. Again, you assign a category number to it and then you can sort by it. But the, 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 the thing that you have to do is remember, you select what it is that you're gonna show on your axes and just remember to always come down and sort by the order number. Okay. okay, that was today's quick tip for customizing the order uh, of a category in an axis. Uh, if you find that useful, let me know in the comments below. If you have a different way of doing this, also let me know too. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you.